Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into a fascinating machine learning projects, earthquake prediction and analysis. This project has recently been successfully completed for one of our clients. So let's dive in. In a world where predicting natural disaster is crucial for saving lives and minimizing destruction, earthquake devastating forces of nature that strike with terrifying power to make harms. But what if we could predict them? This project explores the cutting edge of earthquake prediction and analysis. We are delving into real earthquake data using powerful machine learning to unlock its potential. But what if we could predict them? Like predicting locations, time, magnitude and aftershock. So we are collecting, so we are gathered vast data set for cleaning and analyzing them. So brief about the data set, the first data set is earthquake data set. You know, is spanning from 96, uh, 1965 to 2016. So these are data set, public data set available. The second data set we are using tectonic plate data set. This project investigate the links between earthquakes and the tectonic plate movement, potentially revealing the hidden pattern inside the data. We are training complex models like support vector machine and long short term memory network. Others model like random forest, decision tree, naive-based, k-nearest neighbor. So these are complete machine learning pipeline we are going to cover in this course like data collection and cleaning, predicting modeling, data integration and aftershock predictions, algorithm evaluations and our solution approach. So this is the complete breakdown of these projects. Watch the full video to learn more about the project methodology and the result. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so project requirement of earthquake predictions and analysis project is as follows. So the first part is the data because data is the main heart of the main core things of the any machine learning, right? Because on the data we have to use prediction and analysis and then apply the algorithm. We have collected two data set, one containing natural earthquake data and others containing tight tectonic plate movement data okay so these two data and these are the tasks what we have to do perform data cleaning to handle missing values outlier and inconsistent in data set if you want if you want to explore the data okay so let me show you so these are two different data tectonic plate movement and this one eq earthquake data so if you go to the earthquake data okay so you can explore this number of you know i will explain this you know solution approach how many different uh, diff, uh, total number of rows and column available for this data for tectonic plate movement data plate latitude you know longitude these data are available for earthquake data date time latitude longitude you know type depth you can see different features you know depth error okay and so if we are, once we are doing you know machine learning or data loading and coding you will better understand you know get the I know more clearly how these are you know okay so predictions so what are the predictions model we have to apply on these projects so we have to implement algorithms such as support vector support vector machines SBM and long short term memory LSTM for earthquake predictions okay so this mo prediction model we have to apply on this data train the model to predict the locations time and magnitude of the earthquake based on the provided data set okay so these are tasks we have to do data integrations explore method to merge both data sets if feasible to extract more insight and enhance predictions accuracies okay so these are data integrations both data we have to merge this data and this data access the compatibility and relevance of feature from both data set for integrations okay so when merging two data so we have to merge in which basis we have to merging both data after shock predictions in investigate the um, possibility of predicting after shocks after shock based on the merge data set or individual data set so both data data set we have to try or first you can try either of individually or maybe merge one implement appropriate algorithm or model to predict after shock occurrence okay so this was uh, predicts predictive modeling here also here we have to also do after shock predictions algorithm evaluations so i think as a task we have already mentioned we have to use sbm lstm okay so 
Um, and as a finally, uh, we have to do also algorithm evaluation task. We have to perform on this project. Compare the performance of SBM, LSTM algorithm in terms of prediction accuracy, computational efficiency and other relevance metrics that are required to check the performance of the model. Determine which algorithm yield better result for the earthquake. Okay? So, after this is the you know main thing about the you know comparing the model or comparing the algorithm after individually performing on both or maybe merge data we have to perform all these algorithm apply this algorithm for uh, predictions analysis and then we have to select which algorithm is giving the better accuracy and why we are getting this bit, bit uh, best one right we can also do all this comparative study based on the accuracies and all the other evaluations matrix and you know computational efficiency are given there so what was our solution approach we have you know approaches of how to we have solved in this one okay so in this project we aim to analyze earthquake data and predict various aspects such as earthquake magnitude locations source time and likelihood of the likelihood of the aftershocks below is the details okay so already mentions for this data set uh, earthquake data set there is this number of entries and these 21 columns okay this column include uh, various attribute related to earthquake like date time of occurrence geographical coordinate you know latitude longitude earthquakes types depth magnitude all this data for required for analysis some more columns are given there okay so such as depth error, magnitude error, you know, uh, as you muthal gap, you know, and second data, um, plate inf uh, plate information subset, man, tectonic plate um, movement data. So this contain this number of entries, okay, is uh, this many number of rows and the three columns, okay. The column include in lat latitude, longitude, okay, uh, plate information, latitude, longitude, okay. Unlike the main quick uh, earthquake data, this subset does not contain any missing value. Data pre-processing techniques, so handling, we have to missing value. The column with uh, missing value were dropped with NAN value from the earthquake. Okay, so in any columns that has NAN value, we have to drop from earthquake data set. Missing value in magnitude types, uh, column were imputed with most frequent value of each group and also date time um, passing whenever the data available is in csv format it is not in the same format you are using in programming languages so then we have to pass this data or format the data accurately or correctly what in which format you need in correct date and time we are identified and corrected label encoding uh, categorical column we are encoded to numerical value using label encoder as a feature selections so of features such as latitude longitude depth type magnitude source magnitude type so there is you know in 25 you know many i think how many columns were there for eq so for eq i think there was 21 right 21 columns so all these 21 column okay so you can see there is some more than missing value there is no any data available on that so all the available data number of features we have to select which features we are going to do for our model predictions okay we have to also judge here or we have to select here okay so some of the features we have selected that is affecting our models performance like latitude longitude these are we are selected for various predictions okay testing and training so obviously these are very basic step whenever uh, after feature selection is done so we have used train test split functions with uh, scikit uh, in scikit learn library this is available algorithms already mentions we have to apply sbm and lstm okay so with this algorithm based on the instructions we have to apply so we have applied these two algorithms uh, let me show you okay so here sbm was utilized for earthquake magnitude predictions SBR and locations source predictions long short you know long short term memory so LSTM model were implemented for earthquake magnitude and time predictions also other machine learning models like random forest naive waste came in uh, okay nearest neighbors okay we are utilized to aftershock predictions okay so and logistic regression was employed to alongside LSTM for aftershock predictions. Okay, so these are two 
data set on all individual data set we have to perform prediction you know predicting modeling okay and also after such predictions we have to do so this evaluation technique we have used outlier analysis visualization such as loss curve and accuracy plot were generated to analyze the performance of elastin model counts uh, count plot we are count plots we are used to visualize the occurrence of the aftershock okay see the output okay so you can get the idea okay okay so if let me show you the more details okay okay so this is first result these are data sets okay so getting the things clear okay so mean square errors this one 53 0.53 these are diff uh, on different epochs what are our you know running or loss test loss okay these are tr uh, training loss and validation loss visualization on different epochs accuracy we are getting 87.72 i think this will be for other algorithms training accuracy and validation accuracy because we have to apply different algorithm right so we, on different algorithm is a different result So mean square, root mean square errors. Okay, I think there is total 14 screenshot. Okay, yeah, there is more 12. Okay, so these are accuracies, and yeah, here is the all the result one one plus right. So logistic regression accuracy 0.79, random forest accuracy one, decision tree one, naive s one, KNN 0.74, SBM accuracy this one, LSTM 0.7 accuracy. that's was the detail about this project and what was our solution approach so thank you so much for watching let's meet in another one